Oh baby! <laughs> wow. Uh, hi there, my name is Tom, aka Phil the Print. I'm a session musician, also a music therapist uh, based here in Bristol. Looking forward to giving the Super Gemini a go for the first time. I'm familiar with the Super 6, I've been playing one for just over a year now, I think, and I'm very excited at the prospects of this crazy machine. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like two Super 6s, isn't it, as I'm seeing it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's certainly part of the same family. You've got a Super 6, haven't you? I do indeed, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, very much the same, but with a longer keyboard, um, pressure sensitivity independently on the keys. Super 6 is pressure sensitive, but only one channel. This one is per key. And you've got uh, yeah, two layers of sound that you can split the keyboard. You can layer the keyboard on top of each other. Uh, you've got the ribbon controller. Yeah, you've got some this nice guy. extra sound features like blending of waves, etc. Um, yeah, it's sort of very much, uh, very much in the same line. Just a sort of an expansion and a refinement, really. It's the, uh, very six. pretty. I like the color scheme. <laughs> um, so, how do I manipulate both the different? Um, I don't even know what you call it. Different panels. Well, I um, think you're in. Uh, I think you're in uh, manual mode. So everything is just how it is. As in, the, these are. This is just like yeah. I could treat these as like everything, four your, different your oscillators. Are on, so all your controls, the sound that you're listening to, is uh, as the controls are set. So to turn off one layer, you can turn the level down. Oh, of course, right. So now you're just listening to the top. So is that going to... Keep them, um, for our levels, keep them around oh. zero and keep the other one and go up and down. So that's... Beautiful. It's got such a like a complicated sound, as in there's so much different material in there it can to kind be. of play with. It can be, but this one, unlike the Super Six, you can truly turn off the all of the binaural uh, sound engine and make it go straight down the middle, simple mono. So you can you can strip it right back. Yeah. So, so if I go listening to two layers of single, moment, single, yeah, that's and gonna then be... you can lose either the top or the bottom. Oh, brilliant. So. And then, so, how can yeah, I get that's, on that's the... the top layer? So I'll give you a little bit more. So yeah, you got a bit of pressure there. So give uh, you a bit of range, and that's the amount of pitch at full extension. Cool. <laughs> Beautiful. And then, so this still works in the same kind of way, but. How can yeah. I change the intensity yeah. of it? Uh, so all, all the way to the far right hand side of the control panel are your sends. Oh right, of course, yeah. So instead of a level, it's a send, and each layer has got its own send. So that's going to send it to this, right? Uh, yeah. So now you've got full amplitude delay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Got it in uh, monophonic. Yes, right? absolutely. So of course so, you can have poly as well. And then let's get some of this. Oh wow, that's fun. That's pretty neat. So I'm, I'm already imagining like, different ways I can create like huge sounds that like kind of move about across time, which I really like, where I can just press kind of like one key and then already I'm getting a story being told of like, you know, so, oh yeah. Well, that's crazy. I don't know, I've just noticed this where I can kind of hold one aspect. Yes. And then, now what's going to happen if I play? Oh, I see. So I can kind of have like the lightness of the one 
keyboard yeah. that ends and then the other one's going to hold. Yeah, yeah, and independent pedals, you know. Oh, yeah. So, Wait, yeah. so one of these, oh, well, three one pedals of here. actually delay freeze at the moment. Which one's that? One is sustained. The yellow one is freeze. So that's going to stay if as a delay. Put on the pedal, Hard to tell with that. Oh, uh, yeah, beautiful. That is incredible. All right. Why was I doing this? With the, like, um, this pulse wave. That's beautiful. Yeah, I like you. I always like a little bit of uh, LFO modulation and a little bit of phase as well, just to give just you gives a, it a bit of woo! Just like a little subtle movement around. Makes even the most simplest sound sound kind of interesting. Okay, let's get this going then. No, I don't want that. I want this. So, oh, okay, so I've already noticed now this is actually programmable to a click so how do i do that so yeah i um you got no sequencer at the moment yeah that's fine and for like you, an arpeggiator you, you should have if you play some keys yeah that's good arpeggiating the top layer only um so if you Hee! what did you do there just press that again just change the range um, all right you know, so let's With a bit of this more, a bit more of this, or less. Sometimes less is more. Yeah. I wonder if I could just send one of them out. You can sync it. So you actually, now you're going to tempo sync that today. Oh, oh so even if I affect this, so that's still going to be locked in. Steps. Oh yeah, that, so do you know what, that's what, that's one thing I've always desired out of the Super 6 would be a bit more control over that, that particular thing. So how does this, how do I get my hand around this thing? Because that sounds very exciting. So that's, that does the top <laughs> layer, but not with the arpeggio one. Okay, okay right, so let's get that off. So if you turn that off, if you press, uh, just play some notes, and just press your finger down. On, as in, on, on this? The, and then just move it up and down. Yeah. <laughs> now that's what so I like. You've got an octave of range from the bottom to the top. So I'm... Uh, what how much actually am I doing now? Moving. You're picking up the notes that you're holding, but not the notes which are. So it's sus. I always get the word wrong. Sustenuto pedal. Uh huh. Piano, behaves like. Yeah. So if you're holding, the, if you're physically holding the key, so pray, press the key. So one aspect of it is going to like stay here, and then another aspect well, actually, of it is moving yeah, about. And it's only doing the bottom layer, so the top layer. So because you've got two layers, what we're listening to is... <laughs> we're listening to just one layer go, which is quite nice. That's, 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 that's nice. But, but I feel like that's kind of the strength, is that you can kind of, like, I, w I want a synth where I can kind of move a lot of things around, but then ultimately, like, kind of the musical material stays there. It's so like yeah. if I'm, like, say, using a pad, I can just say, oh, let's hold that, and I know where it is, and then I kind of fiddle about with bits even this say and then it's like yeah. gonna still make sense in a band or yeah. whoever, whoever I'm playing so with or whatever. Moment, you're holding notes so it doesn't bend the holding notes but if for example yeah put your foot back on the pedal but then if I play this one. <gasps> oh now I'm with you George okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay 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 so that yeah yeah yeah. That's, that's kind of more expressive because sometimes you want to just have a bass underneath. Yeah, so. right. Oh, that sounds lovely. That's <laughs> really nice.
Yeah, I got so lost in that. Sorry, guys. Um, I was really, I was